Wee Chong Mong does well to bring it away. It's in Palestine possession again. Be a test for these sides. The surface not the best, it's slightly bumpy. That looked like it went out of play. The referee says play on. This is Pat Kwan Yong. And he's lost out, you can see from the dry patches in this grass. It's a pitch that was used for the first semi final earlier today. Players will have to make do of the conditions. Some may not quite be used to the dry nature of this surface. Shooting opportunity possibly. Should be easy enough for the goalkeeper, but the defender, Ahmed Majing, does well to just put his foot through the ball. This is Ri Kwan Hock. He's played it out of play. So man down at the moment. It is the Palestine man that cleared the ball. A slight bit of discomfort, but he's all right, Murad side. A good early start will be vital to put pressure on the opposition. be a third fourth place playoff for the losers in this semi-final so it doesn't end tonight for the loser one more match still to play the best for Palestine is the semi-final in 2012 Done, like, done likewise again. Hope to go at least one better. It's given away far too easily in Palestine have the opportunity to come forward and mount an attack of their own they won't be able to do that but they do win the throw that looked like a dangerous foul on this surface referee says play on the surprise of many here in Kathmandu. It's a quickly taken throw. The goalkeeper comes out and claims. Ramzi Saleh. Thirty-one-year-old who makes his. 70, 72nd appearance tonight. He's the most capped player in this Palestine side. DPR career come forward here. What sort of delivery can they get in? It's gone past everyone. Reach old Myung it was coming, trying to coming on the back post. It was beyond him beyond his reach early signs of Korean dominance it's a long kick forward by the North Korean keeper Usam Abu Saleh picks himself up as Ahmed Mahal Jing takes the free kick. 
up and away. Forward again from Abu Saleh. Abu Saleh. It's a good ball and he's picked out the run well. Khaled Mohammed tried well to try and get a delivery into the box, but he wasn't able to. But it's a sign of what Palestine can offer going forward. be out for a goal kick not quite the control Abu Saleh wanted it's been everywhere in the opening exchanges we played seven minutes here in Kathmandu still goalless between the two sides in this AFC Challenge Cup semi-final who joined us late again. It's a chance if they take Menistan in the final. That's the prize on offer. Good delivery in. Goalkeepers come and not got it. And the headers over the bars. A clash of heads as well. Morad Saeed's on the deck at the moment. But this is a delivery in. Korean got there first. Goalkeeper was nowhere near it. And in the end, the keeper ended up clattering into his own player. But everything is okay and can resume with the game. It's a sort of indecision that defenders hate to see from their keeper. Especially an experienced keeper like Ramsey Saleh. Good header away, strong header away. The director is giving us a replay again. That's what happened as Pat Kwan Yong tried to and did so successfully get there before the goalkeeper, but his header wasn't on target. There will be errors on this pitch. It is a uh, fairly poor surface for an international football match. Plenty of matches have already been played here. DPR career have had a decent run in this competition. Beat the Philippines by two goals to nil in the opening game. I did likewise against Tajikistan. Earlier in the week, it was India's turn to see the force of this DPR career side. The Indians were thrashed by four goals to nil. They qualified with a record of played 3 1 3, scoring a total of eight goals and not conceding any, so it's a uh, performance Jung Jung Su will be happy with from his team <laughs> Palestine have also come out their group unbeaten they won two of the three matches and drew the other Beat Nepal, the host, by two goals to nil. And a draw, that nil-nil draw against Turkmenistan that followed. And 
beat the Maldives 2-0. So they too haven't conceded in this tournament. Will one of those defences break today? Of course, one of these two sides could actually go out the tournament without conceding a goal. If it goes to the dreaded penalty competition later on in this uh, evening here. I'm sure both managers will want it settled in the 90. a harsh way to decide things but many say the only logical way it's a free kick in favour of Palestine Khaled Mohammed in the wars again that's a poor free kick it's a real waste real waste Usam Abu Saleh didn't really stand a chance of catching that. Just fizzed across this surface. Rui Kwan Hyok. The opportunity to come forward. Rui Chol Mong loses out. side's gone down we may see the first card here or will the referee just have a stern word it looks okay though that was a slightly theatrical fall it has to be said it was under the challenge of Yang Yong Il good football here for Ri Chong Long to come forward tries to find a shooting option there's no real options around him so he has to go out wide Chong Kwan Yik with the ball shaped to put the ball in the box but didn't played across by An Yong Hak Ri Kwan Yok comes forward DPR career not really able to get the ball in the box at the moment That's a good delivery in. Shape to shoot, but they'll play on. An Yong Hak. John Kwanik. Back to An Yong Hak. It's a chase on here for Pak Kwan Yong. They win the corner. played just over 14 minutes the first real set piece opportunity of this match and it'll be a corner taken by Pak Nam Chol good ball in goalkeeper claimed well it would have been wouldn't have counted anyway it was a free kick for the push on him plenty of experience on the 31 year old keeper plays his football for Samuha Here we see the replay again. There was only eyes on the ball from the Korean, but did clatter into the frame of the keeper. Pak Nam Chol. Not really going to catch that, although I don't think the ball will go out of play either. And in the end, it's a free kick given away for the push on Ahmed Mahajing. There's going to be an early change as well. Yang Yong Il is coming off. In his place where 
going to see Zhang Kuk Chol. So it's an early change from Yung Yang Su. It's an early change that looks enforced. It did look like an injury. Not many managers would look to be making a tactical switch at this time. We'll soon find out if that's disrupted the Korean plans in any way. We'll get the second opportunity to try and get the ball into the box. Abu Saleh takes the throw, gets the ball back on the deck this time. What can Korea do from here? Pak Nam Chol. John Kwanik. Long ball forward. There's a chase on. And he might just get there first. He doesn't. Pak Kwan Yong was very quick to make up the yards. But good positioning from Ramsey Saleh. Always want an alert goalkeeper. And they definitely had one there at Palestine. That's a very good ball. This is Pak Kwan Yong. Cleared away very comfortably by Musa Abu Jazir. Just asking a bit too much in the end. Neither goalkeeper really tested as of yet. Nervy opening in some ways. As you can see, the crowd nowhere near capacity, of course, although you can obviously see why the home team, Nepal, no longer in the competition. been a good competition this for some of the developing nations in the AFC prize of it Asian Cup place a massive opportunity wide John uh, touch not quite finding Rachel Myung Palestine bring it forward through Ashraf Alpha Vaghar it's been uh, tough to control the ball on this pitch and you can't really blame the players for that. I've seen on many occasions where they knocked it too long. Aknam <laughs> Chol of his DPR career side is one of the top scorers in the competition. His teammate. Cook Chol Zhang, man who's just come on, isn't too far behind. He's on two goals. Massive opportunity, of course, for individuals to add the golden boot to their collection too, but that will require, of course, their team doing well and staying in the competition. Come on, come on, come on. 
John Raniel, his ball is way out of play. Hussam Abu Saleh doing well not to actually get his head on that because he could well have gone out for a corner. Ramzi Saleh will take this goal kick. We've seen already from his kicks that he gets plenty of distance on him. This one's no other, not like no other. Pass is cut out by Majling. And he's onside here. What can Palestine do? And the answer is nothing much in the end. Ala Atia it was. Who tried charging into the box. But Pak Nam Chol at the back there, matching him. For pace. And in the end, puts in a good challenge. It's only a throw as well. Clearance is not great. What can Palestine do here? The offside flag is up. Hussam Abu Saleh looked like he went a bit too early and the referee is going to have a word for taking the shot after the whistle had gone. It was only moments after the whistle had gone. Would have been slightly harsh of the Referee from Kuwait booked him for that. Well, the referee would well have would well have been allowed within the rules of the game. You do want referees to show common sense where possible. And that was a ideal example. It's a loose pass and it's out of play. Just past the halfway mark in this first half. 22 minutes to play. DPR career nil, Palestine nil in the AFC Challenge Cup semi-final. It's a header at goal and that's wide of the target. It was a very good leap. Yang Kuk Chol. But no real power or direction and the Goalkeeper would have well had it covered anyway. The prize of Turkmenistan in the final is on offer. They won by two goals to one against the Philippines earlier today. It's a first time shot possibly here and in the end it's a real waste from Murad Said. did all the hard work by coming forward it's a wayward effort that's gone well off target in the end tried putting his laces through the ball in the end there was no balance and that effort was high and wide over the bar Rimyong Guk away, it's not his best clearance. It was under pressure there from the opposition. Up and under and away. DPR Koreans have a interesting support. There's a story in one of the media outlets in recent days about a British family, would you believe, that uh, follow, comes to follow the DPR Korean side. I've been watching many of their matches and they actually said that it's a fascination of following 
team like DPR Korea that have been able to travel around the world to watch. I'm sure they'll be in this crowd tonight in Kathmandu. What football's about, great support. Say a game for the fans. This is John Kwanik trying to make the Korean contingent happy. Ri Kwan Chon. Now Pak Nam Chol. Ri Kwan Hyok. Comes forward again and does brilliantly. An effort at goal is just wide of the target. It's a fine effort from Jong Yil Gwan. got the space and did everything bar the finish the signs of the DPR Koreans about to threaten the goal of Ramsey Saleh went for the low one into the corner of the net there's a meter or so away from doing just that Palestinian want the ball put out of play. It was a nasty clash of heads. And Mohammed Mohammed's come off the worst from that. It was a strong header from the Koreans and Rui Kwan Chon should make sure Palestinian number 14 is okay. And he picks himself up. Sure the ball will be returned. So a brief replay of what happened, but it was a clash of heads. Here we see again. Maybe we won't see again, but I can assure you it was a clash of heads. Of course, we are at the mercy of the local television director. Brilliantly done. Good foot in there, and it was a vital foot in there. Danger not over. It's a good delivery in, and just wide. Well, that's the clearest chance we've had so far. It's a delightful ball in from Kui Kwan Hyok. And the header is just wide from Pak Kwang Yong. It's a brilliant delivery and the finish was just inches away. Did brilliantly to reach it at number 10. And maybe in the end when he did get there he should have hit the target at least. Here we see it again. He should have scored, really. It's a massive chance in this semi-final. And could it be won that DPR career regret in the end? Played half an hour here in Kathmandu. It's DPR Korea nil, Palestine nil. And it's AFC Challenge Cup semi final in Kathmandu. Nepal, the host for this tournament. We saw a good semi final earlier in the afternoon in Turkmenistan and the Philippines. It's Turkmenistan that won by two goals to one. And one of these two sides will join them in the final. A 
Palestine's goals have been spread out in this tournament. Four players netting the once. They'll be proud of their defending. One of two sides who haven't conceded and you're watching both of them. In Italy, that's what they call Catenaccio. Two teams whose back lines have held up in this tournament so far. They'll be looking for their defence to do that for one, at least one more time in this tournament. I always say the semi final is harder than the final. It's the big players on big occasions that show up for their country. This is Ri Huan Chon. Out to the right back, Ri Kwan Hyok. Also, delivery can be seen to the box, and that ball didn't quite reach Chang Kuk Chol. This is John Kwanik. Slight argy bargy there. When you're pushing and shoving. Mohammed Mohammed and Yong Yil Kwan. I to say, not the best of friends. Nam Chol involved there as well as was Hussam Abu Saleh. But the end result is a free kick to DPR Korea. It's a dangerous one for a right footer. Lame to swing this in just under the nose of the goalkeeper with plenty attacking. The big men from the back half forward for this. Pak Nam Chol with the ball in. Goalkeeper has just about claimed it. I said he should put it under his nose. I didn't mean put it right under his nose. But you sense the Koreans are getting closer. out but Palestinians keep the ball this is Abu Saleh a brilliant header away from Ri Kwan Yok and DPR career bring it forward John Kwanik Pak Nam Chol gives the ball away and now it's Palestine's turn to come forward Abu Saleh it's a poor ball really it's a waste of possession seen too much wastefulness in the final third already oh, fortunately skipping back and like a two-footed challenge referee says play on can DPR career do here? There's no one in the box. This is Pak Nam Chol trying to find some space. Committed challenge, really. Pak Nam Chol had every opportunity to go down there. The Palestinian defender jumped in. Ri Kwan Yok. It's a good ball in. He's going to go behind for a goal kick. Well, here we see that Khalid Mahdi jumped straight in there. It could have well given away the penalty kick. Holstein were at sixes and sevens at the back there for a few moments.
Jamal Mahmoud having plenty to say on the touchline. Jordanian coach of this Palestine side. Nicknamed the Knights or the Fighters. Al Fursan or Al Fidai. You see translation. They have an opportunity from this free kick, which will be taken by Mohammed. It's a poor delivery, and it's an easy header away, but we'll have a second opportunity. Played out. Up and away. It's not gone too far. It's a shot from distance. That's wider the target in the end. Mohammed did well with his second attempt at getting the ball in. First was rather poor, but he was rather clever with the second. Seven minutes remain in this first half in this AFC Challenge Cup semi final. DPR career and Palestine goalless. That ball has gone out of play for a throw. I think the referee's possibly given a free kick. It's tough to see from our high commentary position here. Mahdi does well, concedes a throw in. A good chase on there with Pak Wan Yong. Matching him inch to inch. In the end, it's actually him that wins the throw. It's a goal kick. Two managers will be starting to think of their half time chat. Jamal Mahmoud and Yung Yang Su. Thinking how to motivate their players. And got plenty of tactical advice will be given out. Not sure if uh, any of these managers possess the Sir Alex Ferguson hair dryer. Any of them will need it at the moment. It will be a case of keep it going and we'll get there. That's been evenly matched in the first part, although the Koreans will think they shade it slightly. They've had the better opportunities. Long ball forward. It's a good header away by Pak Nam Chol. He's never going to score from that. He saw the headlines and his name in lights. It's a very long kick forward. And of course it's going to be a goal kick.
Good header from the skipper, Ri Quan Chon. John Quan Yi does well as well. It's a turn of pace from Pat Quan Yong. Needing Murad side to come across and concede the throw. Is there a goal here for DPR career before half time? Ri Chol Myong. The right back coming forward. Ri Kwan Yong. And that's not gone in. And it may do now. It has. Pat Kwan Yong with a goal. And DPR career do have the lead before half time. The first effort cannoned against the woodwork. And with three minutes left on the clock, it's Pak Ran Yong with the goal. It had been coming. The Koreans had the better of the opportunities in this first half and finally one of them has paid. And it's also the first goal that Palestine have conceded in this tournament. And it's come in the semi-final. They were unfortunate at the first effort. The goalkeeper couldn't do anything about it. And he couldn't do much with the second either. Here we see it again, off the frame of the woodwork. And a fortunate rebound brought it to the number 10. And he thanked everyone, so he lashed it into the net. Will be a vital goal in the context of this semi final. Much experienced Korean side, it has to be said. Do remember they played in the FIFA World Cup in South Africa. May you all remember the tears during the national anthem. It was a massive moment for the DPR Koreans. Trying to make it two before half time. Onside. What sort of cross will they get? It's a wayward one from Pak Nam Chol. Nowhere near Young Il Kwan. Rather disappointed to see it go behind. minute plus added time remains it's been an interesting first half began KG but the Koreans who have been much the better it had to be a header away the goalkeeper came and was rather uncertain good defending Ri Kwan Chon dealt with it in case there was any trouble. Abu Saleh. Here he is again. Looking for support around him. Does well to pick out the pass. And this is good football from Palestine. Can they make a meaningful opportunity out of this? And they might just have done. The ball inches away from Fahed Atal. Two minutes of added time. You may have caught on the Tannoy there. And we're into them here in Kathmandu. But here we see that opportunity again. It wasn't too far away. Maybe you a yard and a half away. But a man who's been so prolific in this tournament in the past, the 27-year-old Fahed Atel. Scored 14 goals in his 38 appearances for his country. 
Pak Nam Chol. It's a better delivery than his last one. Could this be the ultimate sucker punch for Palestine before half time? They had the opportunity possibly to have levelled. Could they find themselves two goals down? They want on this attack, it's a free kick to Palestine. There's another substitution. substitution Yang Kukchol, the man who came on, has been substituted. Kim Ju Song is the man that's come on for him. Well, DPR career might lead at the moment, but it's coming at quite a price. The substitute's been substituted with an injury. And they've lost a man that scored a couple of goals for them in this tournament. And that's half time here in Kathmandu in what's been an interesting first 45. In this AFC Challenge Cup semi-final, it's Palestine nil, DPR career two for the right to play Turkmenistan in the final. few words to say no doubt Palestinians aren't out of the game show glimpses of what they could do and now they've really got to show it It's not really gone anywhere. Pak Nam Chol, his cross is blocked. Might get a second opportunity, doesn't really need it. And Kim Yu Yong tried to do his best to get a ball in. It's going to be a change here. We've only played a minute or so of the second half. change. Ala Atia, the number 13 has gone off to be replaced by another forward. Nali Kaware. Possible change in shape there if the uh, coach Jamal Mahmoud wants to and he looks like he's done just that. Maybe found the Koreans were getting behind their back line slightly easily in the first half. A thousand we have in here tonight have been treated to a decent footballing display from the Koreans. Well, they are out of the four semi finalists the most experienced. They need to do slightly better than that at goal if they are to double their lead. High and handsomely over from Ri Chol Myung. as well and really just run off the ball there by Pak Nam Chol this is Ashraf Ali Wakhra 
Just keeps running there. A possibility of a shot at goal, and that was well blocked. Kadir Abu Mohammed's effort. John Kwanik. It's a very good ball to release Pat Kwang Yong. He strikes a goal! And almost doubles career's lead. It's a brilliant turn of pace from the number 10. And it looked from our angle he, that he may have made it 2 0. How close was this? This angle should tell. Inches, centimetres almost from doubling career's lead and maybe almost surely booking their place in the final. It's been a determined performance in his second half so far from Ying Yang Su's men. really need to find something from somewhere well that quiet crowd it has to be said it's been one of those evenings here in Kathmandu rather hazy Lifted into the box, the Koreans won the penalty, and the ball just goes straight through to the goalkeeper, Ramsey Saleh. That will be a free kick. There's a substitute, Mali Kaware, sent crashing to the deck. Kawari, the 29 year old. Played just over 10 times for his country. That's a good ball. Sliding challenge in. He had to time it well at the back. Backman Chol it was. Again a chase on and back to the goalkeeper. He calmly plays it out and the clearance is completed. today is from Kuwait Yusuf Al Mazouk the two assistant referees come from Malaysia Asman bin Ishmael and Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman Mali Kawari gets it out wide Hussam Abu Saleh's ball in Had to be a good header away and it was Rui Kwan Yong there's a goal scorer, Pat Kwan Yong. John Kwan Yik. Brilliantly flicked on. Pak Nam Chol. What can the North Koreans produce here? The answer is not much. Rui Kwan Chon, the skipper. Now Ri Kwan Hyuk. It's a foul. He's gone against the Koreans. Tell that from the disbelief on Yong Il Kwan's face. If you missed it, Turkmenistan beat the Philippines by two goals to one in the other semi-final. 
means it's an opportunity for one of these sides to face Turkmenistan. Well claimed by Rimongu. Had a rather limited evening so far. Diving challenge in there, but Usam Abu Saleh found his way back. And here we see the earlier uh, possible effort. Quite sure why we're seeing that replay, but of course the Nepalese television directors found something in there. So some work to do for Jamal Mahmoud's men. A trail by a goal to nil. That goal came after 42 minutes from Pat Kwon Yong. It's a fine ball in, and it's a good claim from Ramsey Saleh. Good delivery in from Pak Nam Chol and Pak Kran Yong almost rose the highest. Good claim from the goalkeeper. Got in front of his defender. ball not quite finding its intended target and the goal scorer gets in there and no one really in the box a chase on for Pak Nam Chol to claim in the end he wasn't able to he concedes a throw to the Palestinians which Hussam Abu Saleh goes across to take Coach still has two substitutions left up his sleeve. Remember, there is a third, fourth place playoff in this competition. So this won't be the final game for the losers in this contest. Goal for Palestine could take it into extra time and possible penalties. That wasn't a clever challenge. I'm slightly surprised that's not a booking for Musa Abu Zahir. He's rather cynical and not very clever. Ri Kwan Yok manages to get the ball in. Plenty of Palestinian defenders back. There were seven in the box at that point. Over the head of everyone, but it will be retrieved by Jean Gil Kwan. It's a good header away by Mahajing. Spread to the left hand side. It's a good block the first time round, but for the North Koreans do this time, it may well be a corner kick. No, it won't. Oh, it has been given as a corner. Well, my initial reaction was it was a corner kick. and Palestinians didn't think so. Maybe this replay will tell us. Ah, it should have been a goal kick. And in the end, the referees changed his mind and given a goal kick. Yeah, it's a definite goal kick. More high position here at the Dashraf Rangasala in Kathmandu. Grand, that holds 25,000, only a couple of thousand in here. The winner gets a place in the Asian Cup in Australia in 2015. It's a massive opportunity that DPR Carrera had. India also had the opportunity last time round. There's a substitute, Kim Jong-yong. 
Holstein win it and try and counter here. They'll probably need to do a bit better than that. Uh, looks like it's been kept on. No, it's not. Extra foul. Off of Kara. Ball over the top, trying to release him quickly. Didn't quite work to how they might have wanted to. But that has worked. Paknam Chol brings it away. Suddenly, would you believe the Palestinian is fine? So that's going to be a free kick. Some play acting from Musa Abu Zahir. You can hear his coach on the touchline not too impressed with him. You can hear him shouting Musa. One of the added bonuses of. Not too many being at the ground as you often get to hear the coach barking out his instructions. And the Jordanian coach of Palestine, Jamal Mahmoud, wasn't too impressed. about dealt with from the captain Paknam Chol well spread out to Kim Jong Yong good header away from Hussam Abu Saleh Kim Jong Yong is a second substitute came on for the substitute initially Yang Kuchol came on for Yong Mil Il. About two substitutions on the, uh, the same play, you could say. The 13 went off for the 19, who went off for the 25. As Murad Said received some treatment. Some players using it as an opportunity as a quick water break one career is the banner that and the other career career Republic already booked their place at the London Games and they did so in style Qualified with a game to spare. Have you joined us for our coverage of that of the last few days? You'll notice Japan have also qualified and in dramatic fashion the UAE. They beat Uzbekistan to qualify. Uzbekistan, if you watch the match, were 2 0 up for a special comeback relegated Uzbekistan to a playoff spot but here in this AFC Challenge Cup semi-final it's DPR career one Palestine nil played over 17 minutes in this first, second half sorry It's a match that the Koreans are well in control of at the moment. With a goal's lead, anything can change. Anything can happen. If you believe it, it's the substitute I mentioned, Kim Yu Kim Ju Jong. That's down at the moment. Didn't really look like much contact there from Musa Abu Zahir. He seems fine and doesn't really need the medical staff on the pitch, so it's uh, take as a few seconds claimed. It's been a 
fairly easy game to referee for the Kuwaiti official. Paknam Chol plays the long ball forward. Yong Yil Guan. Kim Ju Yong is okay now. Big boot forward, but the number 11 gets it back and Ramsey Saleh has an easy one. He's taken over the skipper's armband in the second half. Experienced man in this team, goalkeeper for Palestine. Decent delivery in, it's a vital boot away. On Murad's side, Jean Quanit takes a throw. That's going to be a free kick and in a dangerous position as well. And it's going to be the first yellow card of the contest. That's going to go to Hussam Abu Saleh. Who refused to watch it? What refuses to watch it take place? It's rather a cynical one. Only scored the once for his country, the 29 year old. On his 21st appearance, collects a yellow card. <laughs> Need a good free kick from Paknam Chol. He scored from here before, he's gone low this time and he's won the corner. Rather fortunate. That wasn't his best set piece. He'll go across to try again with his right foot, try and swing this one into the box. Fentier pushing and shoving, taking place, and oh, it's off the line and over. What a chance that was for An Yong Hak. And what a piece of defending on the line, you should say. That clattered Musa Abu Zahir in the, in the ghoulies, as you could say. It's a brilliant delivery in. Much better than his free kick. And that cannon off the unmentionables. But another opportunity for the Koreans goes, goes begging. Could they live to rue those chances? As Palestine look to make another change. Keir Salem is the man that's being readied, another forward. So they are going for the option. This could be two. It is two. What a comical bit of goalkeeping. And what a comical bit of defending. Pak Ran Yong makes it 2 0. And when you're chasing a match, that really is the last thing you want. Sixty eight minutes on the clock. What a terrible bit of goalkeeping. The goalkeeper committed. And no chance for him. It's 2 0. Two goals for Pak Ran Yong. Into the back of the net. He says thank you very much. All while Palestine make the change. Mohammed Mohammed is the man that's gone off. And his place is K Salem. Palestine have it all to do. They're trying to chip the goalkeeper from there. And they really do that. 
Well, the Palestinians have really only got themselves to blame. Not conceded a goal in this tournament before tonight and have given away an absolute howler. Have the floodgates open now. What's been given? A yellow card for the Korean. And Kim Jujong becomes the first DPR career player to be booked. And you know what? That probably was a penalty. That probably was a penalty. You could see the two defenders came across him. I think there's definite contact there. Brave call from the official. Very brave decision. The World Korea lead by two goals to nil. They probably won't care too much. So if there's any way Palestine pull this back and go on to win, I'm pretty sure which uh, decision Yun Yang Su will be looking back at. This is Atal, who once scored six goals in a match and probably at the moment settled for half of that. With six goals in this competition in 2006 against Guam. He definitely knows where to find the net and he needs to do so quickly here for Palestine. It's a short corner, drilled in. For Waghara, it was of the delivery in. Sliding challenge that's well done by Mahajing. As I mentioned in the first half, this surface isn't the best. You can see from the patches on the turf, the so Koreans come forward. Of course, Kwon Ryong is now on a hat trick. Best attendance in this competition as you hear the pin drop silence around here was for Maldives against Nepal. 15,000 in this stadium. In fact, the lowest crowd of the competition came during the DPR career match as they faced India in the final group game. Won 4 0 on that occasion. So they played on the Tuesday earlier this week. course a massive opportunity if your team goes on to win the opportunity of Asian Cup football it's the pinnacle of Asian international competition of course the Asian nations play a lot more matches than their European counterparts for example of the various qualifications Olympics qualification which is just concluded and into the final round of the FIFA World Cup 2014 qualifiers European counterparts of UEFA haven't, haven't even started their qualification yet they've got UEFA Euro 2008 to look forward to Euro 2012 I beg your pardon to look forward to Spain defending their title Here's another opportunity. This could be three, and it isn't. What a chance for Kim Ju Young. And he really should have finished it and should have made this game beyond Palestine. Did all the hard work, beat the goalkeeper, and beat the post as well. It's a good ball played into him. Not quite sure where the Palestinian defenders went. They were nowhere near the ball, that's for sure. The 
joining us late. Two goals for Pat Kwon Yong. The 42 and 68 minutes, the difference between these two sides here in Kathmandu. opportunity to see the chance that went wide this director definitely likes his replays that's for sure he's shown us a replay of everything that'd be a free kick Now starting to run out for Palestine. 15 minutes remaining to the final 15 of the 90. Two goals required from the Palestinians to take this into extra time. Rui Kwan Hyo gets the ball back. Trying to make the space and room to knock the ball in. He's in really well here. He keeps going. It's a brilliant run. He can finish it off. No, he can't. What a run from the right back. And no wonder his teammates applaud him. It would have been one of the great goals in AFC history. He skipped past one. It was far too easy. He skipped past the second. And then the third. And maybe just did a bit too much of that flick back in but they do have the corner kick the referee's ready for it to be taken it's a long ball into the back post it's over everyone it'll be claimed by Jean Quanique and he's giving it away and Palestine might just get a chance to break forward here if they do it properly of course, bang on cue from the commentators. Curse, they don't. It's easy keep ball here now for the Koreans. It's Palestine that need to come and get it. The crowd patiently wait on. Real football fanatics in the house this evening here in Nepal fine stadium in Kathmandu the Dushraf Rangasala so that house is 25,000 it's recently refurbished uh, as close as last year it's a man that nearly scored a wonder goal Ri Hwan Hyuk Pak Nam Chol this is Ri Kwan Chon. It will see a replay again. She wanted him to strike it, and in the end, that opportunity was taken away from by Kadeh Mohammed. That's another chance at the back post. Jong Yil Kwan, it was in the number 11. Slightly got away from him from the header on. In the end, it was nowhere near the target. Reach old Myong. Jean Quanik. Back to Ri Quan Chon. See the untinted free play of that chance it's been one of those evenings where I felt like I've seen the match back twice with the amount of replays we've had hopefully it's not spoiled your enjoyment at home and what's been a interesting AFC Challenge Cup semi-final between DPR Korea and Palestine been quite a story had the Palestinians progressed but you can tell from the 
might of this DPR Korea team that they mean business. Played in FIFA competition, of course, in the World Cup in 2010. They did well. They made lots of friends in South Africa. You want to remember Jean Tacy's uh, tears. What a clash against Brazil. Of course, the match that the DPR Koreans want one to remember came against Portugal, if you remember. Final change. Zhong Yil Kwan goes off. And on in his place is Yang Song Kyo. And number 23 has got just over 10 minutes to impress. 10 minutes to try and get himself a place in the final. Starting 11 anyway. Well taken down. Up and away from Alpha Agara. Ten minutes remain here in the AFC Challenge Cup semi-final. 2-0 to the Koreans. Place against Turkmenistan. Up for grabs. They beat the Philippines by two goals to one earlier in the afternoon. Alsan look to make a change while we see the substitution being readied. Salem just out muscled by his counterpart, number 17, An Yong Hak. He's pulled up there, the Palestine man. Not sure if it's a touch of cramp or anything, but the Koreans play on. And here they come forward. It's well held by the keeper. Palestinian might just need some treatment here. He's still crouched to the floor. Alpha Ghara. We'll try and soldier on. I've got one more change of Palestinians. The Koreans have made all three. It's an ankle injury. You can see him gesturing to the referee that it's his ankle. And finally, he's getting some treatment. It's been a long time coming, that treatment, it has to be said. Time running out for Jamal Mahmoud's men. Remember, they will have a third, fourth place playoff if they go on to lose this match, which is looking increasingly likely. given back and we can get on with things. We'll have a few minutes of added time into the final six minutes. Koreans have had the chance to put this game out of doubt. Rui Kwan Hyuk came very close to scoring one of the goals of the tournament and quite possibly one of the best goals in AFC history. 
quite an outstanding run from the right back. Managed to get past at least five or six players. Oh, he was denied by Kadir Abu Mohammed, who just about made it back. Try not to say too much more about the random replays we keep seeing. Yeah, there's Ashraf Al Falagharo who's gone off. Mohamed Jamal is the man that's on for him. He scored once in his career, Mohamed Jamal. Another 29 year old, so plenty of 29 year olds in this team. That was almost a hat trick. But Pat Kwon Yong. Suddenly, as I'm pushing and shoving. Palestinians aren't happy. More treatment required. This will just add on to the added time we've got. And now cards coming out all over the place. A yellow card there. Quite possibly for the goalkeeper. For saying a bit too much. Not really sure why the goalkeeper needs to get involved. He should maybe get back between the sticks and keep his mouth shut. Absolutely scandalous. And he's been pushed back towards his goal by Hussam Abu Saleh, who's on the yellow card himself. Well, this is what happened. Might have just been caught by Pak Nam Chol as he walked, or, well, ran past him rather. A gesture of an elbow on Ahmed Mahajin. Didn't really look like there's anything in that, but. Palestinians definitely seem to think so, and so much so that the keeper Ramzi Saleh said a bit too much. It's under four minutes remaining. The second semi final of the AFC Challenge Cup. The Dishad of Rangasalo in Kathmandu. EPR Korea 2, Palestine 0. And this time we have a free kick that goes in Palestine's favour. It's Khaled Mahadi. He's helped up. Keeper takes a touch before launching his clearance away. Not one of those surfaces you can really trust. Thump forward by Richol Myong. It's going to come back towards him though. There's a testing ball for Kesalem to chase and he falls on his backside and it's a goal kick. Been a fairly easy night for the officials. So that nothing changes in the final few minutes. Well, 
90 seconds of the 90 remain. Most likely we'll have three minutes of time added on. There's plenty of stoppages in the second half and as well as the substitutions of course. The tie now just about beyond Palestine. They'll have to be happy with the third, fourth place game. Koreans look to try and under third. That goes into the crowd. They have been beaten by the better side, much more experienced side. But for a team whose best record is the semi finals in this competition, quarter finals was there best prior in 2006 they withdrew from the competition in India and only reached the qualifying stages last time out so great experience considering the likes of India were knocked out of this competition early on rather embarrassing tournament of course it was for India played three lost three Conceding eight goals. Into added time. We're going to have four minutes of it. Long ball forward. It's a good header out of play by Musa Abu Zahir. No doubt Jamal Mahmoud, the Jordanian coach of Palestine, will be delighted with their performances in this tournament. Of course, it wasn't to be in reaching the final, but that effort goes high and over. Of course, it wasn't to be in their quest to reach the final, but semi-finals is quite an achievement. Of course, it'll be something they will be delighted with. Although maybe not in the immediate aftermath. Looking for a way back in this game. It's going to go behind for a corner. And the DPR career side are yet to now concede a goal. They're the only team with a zero next to the goals against. For tonight, Palestine were as well. They've conceded two on this evening. One last consolation goal, maybe. That's a good delivery in this six in the box there from DPR Korea you can see where the priority is now being let go by Kersalem it's a good leap and header away from Pak Nam Chol San Young Hak that brings it away. Uh, two goal scorer, Pak Kwan Ryong. San Young Hak. All the way back to Pak Nam Chol. Ri Kwan Chon, the captain, who will lead his team out in the final. North Koreans just playing out time now. Well, like the Koreans have settled for their two. Palestine camp in their own box, or in their own half rather. It's an easy game of keep ball. No one really coming out to attack the ball. And then Chol wins, his, wins himself a free kick, and no doubt that might just go backwards. Been a 
exactly that. Pak Nam Chol. Wee Kwan Chon. Wee Chol Myung. Chong Kwan Ik. Back again to the centre backs. Here's a right back, Wee Kwan Hyuk. That's a very good ball out to Pak Nam Chol. Got two in front of him, three in front of him, and the Palestinians do well. Did well. One of them tried to block it off and made an absolute pig's ear out of it. But that is the full time whistle. It's Korea who go through to face Turkmenistan in the final of the AFC Challenge Cup. Here in Kathmandu, two goals from Pak Yon Choi. The first coming after 42 minutes, and then the second after 68 minutes has given the DPR Koreans a deserved place in the final. And they'll face Turkmenistan, who earlier beat Philippines by two goals to one. It's a case of just a bit more from the DPR Koreans, who are much more experienced than the Palestinian counterparts, and they've won here by two goals to nil. Palestine of Philippines to 